Sponsored by True Tech Tools. TrueTechTools.com. Well, good morning, YouTube. It's been a little while since I've done any kind of work vlog. In half a mile. Though I may have posted a video phone. recently, I actually haven't done a vlog recently. So, the other day, I was finishing up on my first call, did a maintenance, and um, headed to my second call to do another maintenance. We are into the heating season doing our heating maintenances, and the second call was a two system, I think. Doesn't really matter, but I was on the route. And as I'm going through the intersection, traffic in front of me stopped, and bang! I got hit in the rear end and no major damage to myself or the other car's occupant but my back door of my transit was pretty well screwed up to where it wouldn't open and close properly so we've got it in the shop and I'm driving a Ford Transit 250 as far as the size of the vehicle, I, I like it. And it's definitely got a little bit more power than the 1.1 right liter engine on that little Transit Connect. So I've been enjoying it for the most part. The only thing I haven't been enjoying is right this back road. here. It's a disaster. I don't have any shelves because this is a rental. And so I'm literally, everything I would normally carry is all over the floor. It makes for a fairly quiet ride because everything's on the floor. I don't have any metal in the shelves to bang against each other. But it would definitely be nice to have an outfitted Transit 250. But that really wasn't what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the HVACR residential heating and cooling industry. I got a comment from a gentleman just I, I found the comment this morning and he said that uh, I was a very slow worker that I work really slow and he would have finished three calls in the time it took me to do the one that I'd shot this video on I don't remember what video it was I didn't pay that close of attention to what video he commented on but I have always had an issue. I say always, but in the beginning of my HVAC life, I tried to do everything everybody else in the industry around me was doing. And that meant that you try to work as fast as possible, do as much work in as little amount of time as possible, which generally leads to poor service work and crappy installs. I posted some pictures to Google Plus just yesterday of a duct transition, if you could even call it that, that I'm pretty sure he was trying to work as fast as possible so he could get out of there. The problem being, I'm almost positive he worked harder to do a really terrible job where if he had done it properly I could pretty much be certain that it would not have taken as long when the customer asked me how long it was going to take to fix this beautiful duct transition I said well between tear out and 
being 100% finished, I might be about an hour, which is not that long considering I had to remove his beautiful duct work and uh, reinstall it more airtight. But the HVAC industry focusing on speed versus quality to me is a big problem. It seems to be a big problem. Everyone's always in a rush, and when you're in a rush, you make mistakes. For that matter, you can still make mistakes when you're not rushing. So, after some time in the industry, I decided that I would focus on quality and let speed come as I got better at the process and when I left the guy that I first worked for uh, Johnson and Associates up in Central Ohio he was a one-man show but I worked with him for about three years as a spot labor helper and when I left him to look for more money he said that I should focus he said focus on doing the job right and you'll never be in need of work because there will always be somebody faster but it's hard to find somebody better and that's the principle that I've laid into my career now over everything. Sometimes you have a certain process, installing a TXV, uh, replacing a blower motor, or in the install world, you know, running flex, building a transition, building a piece of duct. And I certainly apply general rules to each process where I do the same thing every time but the only thing that follows through all of the different applications or situations that you might get into is that the goal is to do it as best as you possibly can and to do it better than the next guy if possible just a little something that was kind of bothering me from that comment you know I certainly am not so naive to think that the industry is changing overall just because the YouTube community is focusing on quality over quantity as a majority I hope my feeling is that it's a majority. But focusing on quality, and you will make money. Focusing on speed, your customer is the one that is shortchanged there. If all you're worried about is getting done and getting on to the next one, you're only hurting your customer, and your customer is why you're in business. Without the customer, you don't have a business. So, I, I think the focus should be pleasing and satisfying the customer, rather than your need to go home, or your need to get on to the next call, or whatever. It definitely has its caveats here and there that could be problematic where the customer is more impatient. But when a customer gets impatient, are you done yet? The response is, would you rather it done right or done in a certain amount of time? Anyway, leave your comments down below. <coughs> like, subscribe, comment, share. And if you would like to support this channel, hit up my Spreadshirt store. 
HVAC with Stephen Reardon .com. Check out the t-shirts and hats and whatnot over there. If you like something, see something you like, I would greatly appreciate your support there. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Yeah.